Let's try this out. Okay, so first off, make sure all of the numbers that you have in your notes are correct. Mm. Okay, because that's, that's very important. So the first sentence says, there is a 1% chance that a randomly selected person has the mutant gene. So if we wanted to say, write this, I don't know, probability of carrying the gene, or however you want to write it, this should be point zero 0.01. The next thing says, if someone does have the mutant gene, there is a 95% chance that he is detected by Trask. So Trask's device detects this thing. Okay. So I would say this is the probability of detection, quote unquote detection, given someone has the gene, this is equal to 0.95. And if someone does not have the gene, there is still an 8% chance that the device detects the person as a mutant. So this would be the probability of detection given no gene. And this is 0.08. Let me, let me uh, move this up and uh, list off all the bits of information that we do know. So we have the probability that someone carries the gene, 0.01. Probability that he's detected if someone has the gene is 0.95. And probability that someone is falsely detected, even if there is no gene, is what? 0 0.08, okay? This is what the problem, the written problem, has established, right? Now, if in your reading of the problem, you do not have this information correct, everything else is gonna be no good, okay? So make sure you can read a problem and pull out these bits of these pieces of information first. Now that we have this, then we can draw our probability tree to try to answer the question. Well, I, I suppose we should ask, what is this question asking? It's asking, someone is detected by the device. So it could be a true detection, it could be a false detection. And we're asking what's the person that this what's the probability that this person actually carries the mutant gene? So the question is asking what is the probability that someone has the gene given that the device um, detects as such? This is what the question is asking. This is what we want to know. What is the probability that someone actually has that gene? Okay, so now we are going to draw our probability tree. And our first split will be those who have the gene and those who do not have the gene. So what is the probability that someone carries the gene? 0 0.01. What's the probability that someone does not have the gene? 0.99, okay? This has to cover everybody, right? 1% have the gene and 99% do not. Those who have the gene can be detected and they might also not be detected. So those who are, what's the probability that someone who carries the gene is detected? And the probability of not being detected would then be 0 0.05. So 
same with those who do not have the gene. We have detection and no detection. Those who do not have the gene are still falsely detected as such. At what probability? 0.08, which means they are not detected with probability what? 0.92. We want to know what is the probability that someone, if someone is detected, what's the probability that this person carries the gene? Okay? So this would be equal to the probability of gene and detection. divided by the probability of detection. Okay. All I'm doing here is I'm just taking that formula that I wrote, probability of A given B, and I'm just replacing it with gene and detection. Okay. Probability of A given B is probability of A and B divided by the probability of B. Okay, what is the probability of having the gene and being detected? It would be 0.01 times 0.95. Okay. So this would be the probability of having the gene and being detected. This is 0.01 times 0.95, which gives me 0.0095. So that gives me the numerator to the answer to my problem. Now I have to get the denominator. Okay. So we don't actually have what's the probability of detection. But we can get that. How can we get that? There's two ways that someone can be identified by the device. One is the person actually has the gene and is detected. And then we also have to include those who don't have the gene and are detected by the device. So we have this number, but we also have to include this number. So this would be the probability of those with no gene but are still detected. And so that would be 0.99 times 0.08. And uh, I think this is 0.0792. Is that right? Mm -hmm. Okay. So that is no gene and detection. So the overall probability that someone gets detected, whether they actually carry the gene or not, would be this number plus this number. So the overall probability of detection would be 0 0.0095 plus 0 0.0792. And that adds up to 0 0.0887? Okay, so now we have the pieces to answer this. Probability of gene and detection is 0 0.0095. Overall probability of detection, 0 0.0887. All right, now I, now I need a calculator. And I get 0 0.107. device works. Of those who are flagged, only about 10 or 11 percent actually have a mutant gene. Okay. That's a silly scenario. Mm -hmm. Is that okay? All right, let's take a, let's take a short break and we'll, uh, we'll finish out the class 